in this video i'm going to teach you on how you can create table of content in word so i'm going to use these theses to teach you on how you can do that so first of all you need to create a, a page for table of content so you write table of content content and page then from there you can introduce it but before you do that you have to assign the various sessions to uh, the styles so you go to the home tab and then under the styles you have heading one two and three in that order so we are going to assign the various sessions to it so we'll start with the declaration but before you do that you have to modify the headings so heading one i'm going to modify it this way right click and click on what modify then here we can i want it to be centered so i'll click on uh, this very icon center then i will change the font to times new roman then i will make it 14 or either 12 depending on how you want it this is my main headings so i'll give it a bigger font then make sure that it is bold then double spacing then here automatic is very important then we can click on automatically update if there is a need be you can click on format and then use the fonts and do any setting you want click on ok then heading 2 uh, you can also modify heading 2 but first of all let me assign these ones to heading 1 then it changes then I'll have my dedication heading 1 I have my acknowledgement heading one click on it just put the cursor on it and then like this and then you click on heading one all right then i have my list of tables and then list of figures because i have some tables and figures in my way my thesis now list of abbreviations one now when it comes to Okay, so abstract will also have uh, heading one. Now, which one will have heading two? The heading two, this I have my overview and background to the study. So they will all have heading two, but I have to modify it first. So I'll right click on it and then modify. So I'll make sure that it is left centered here. Then I'll click on double spacing. Then I will change my font to the one I like. Times New Roman. Then automatic. Then automatically update. Then I'll click OK. So I can put my cursor there and click on heading 2. You see, it changes. Then background to the study. Heading 2. Then... Uh, what again so if there is anyone else i can just look for it statement of the problem heading two in that order now if you go to chapter two chapter two also have a main heading which is uh so i can assign them to chapter heading one then overview heading two so you do it for all of them so as you can see i have done it for all of this these will have heading two now go to your figures if you have figures assign them to heading two in some cases you may make them heading three all right depending on how you want it this is my framework i will assign them to heading two in that order now when you are done when you are done make sure you have all right so no so this is heading one then this one heading two all right now i have some of my tables let me show you in chapter four i have some tables so i can also assign those tables to heading two for example this heading um all right okay so this table six 
this table 5 I can assign this to heading 2 then in that order now when you are done go to where you introduce the table of contents all right this is it then you go to put the cursor at where you introduce it here then you go to references check here references then at the extreme left corner you have table of contents we are not going to use this automatic go to custom table of contents then make sure that you click the tab leader if you want the tab leader to come which is the dotted line okay select the one you prefer but i prefer none right so show levels yeah i have only two levels but i can decide to keep it three like that it's not going to affect any then you click OK to introduce the table of contents. So automatically it will uh, ask you to, uh, it will bring all of the table of contents. As you can see, the fonts may not be how you want it. So you can highlight, highlight all of them from the top to the bottom. So I'm going to highlight. And then once I highlight, I can change the font color the way I want it all right so this is it then I can go to the home then I will select Times New Roman and I need it size 12 now you see I don't want the tables and the figures to be at the same place so I already have created a session for a list of tables which will of course will be on another page so I'm going to drop it down then it will be here then I'll have my list of figures also on another page so I'm going to look for all uh, the tables in the table of content and I'll cut them out of it so what you do is that so look for table one okay so this is table one once the cursor is at the left of it and it changes to this form I can click to highlight then I'll put my hand on uh, control so hit the control and then click on the next table highlight I'm doing selective highlighting at a go so once I'm done with them, I can just, you know, cut them out of it. So you need to cut all the tables out of it from the main table. Then you go to where the tables are. Then don't mind when you have done with uh, the cutting out of it, you can just decide to what, you know. So here I'm formatting. Since I have the tables here I, need, I don't need tables beside them again so I'm going to uh, delete all of them but first of all I have to remove the underline and then make it automatic so that it will be black of course as a desired font then I will also make sure that I delete the tables here I mean so you do it for all of them in that order when you are done then you go to the top and then you also cut the figures right you remove the figures out of it in that order so where is my first figure all right so maybe perhaps i've seen a figure somewhere i just need to let's say this one okay for example this one I'll hit my control tab so that I can do selective highlighting then I will cut them out of it then I can now go to where the figures are then I will introduce them then I can format I can highlight and format so this is how to create table of content now uh, there are certain uh, instances where you for example uh, before you do table of contents, make sure that you uh, number the pages, Roman numbers or Roman numerals and real digits. If you don't know how to do that, look for my video and then learn how to uh, insert Roman 
numerals and real digits in your thesis so if you are done you realize that this is on a different page so it needs to start from uh, here so i can just do my editing then of course that may be on a different page when you are done you have to update the table of content so let me show you how you can do that so you have to come here to where the table of content is then you right click and then you click on update field then you update the page numbers so you click on ok automatically it will update the pages but in a situation where you go to your main work and then you change some writing let's assume that you go to maybe organization of the study let me go there and then maybe probably you make some changes in the writing all right if that is the case then when you go to the table of content you need to update the entire table you need to update the entire table so you come here and update click on update field then you click on update entire table and click ok once you click ok it will update that so now you can have as you can see we have organization so here when you do that you still have your figures and the tables that you have already cut out of this inside so that is why it's advisable you make sure that you have finished everything in your main work then you do this all right so here because i have updated work, works in the main work then i need to highlight and then change the font and remove the table of figures and the tables this is how to create tables in word uh, in your thesis or in maybe you have a book ciao see you in the next video